Who knows? Why is Monty Williams making this type of money? Monty Williams has a contract for six years, $78 million. That is ridiculous. Right now, the Detroit Pistons have two wins, and he's supposed to be the guy to turn it around. Over his career, Monty Williams is a 51% career win percentage. That makes no sense. At a point, he was making more than Pop. He's made more than Phil Jackson, all these guys. Based on what? I just don't get it. Somebody please explain to me. In nine years, he's had one NBA Finals appearance. Do better, Monty. Dose. On the other end, Ime Doka. Shout out to him. Shit never lost a job to begin with. Y'all can explain why that's not for me, neither here or there. But he has the Rockets playing. The Rockets are about 500 right now as far as their win percentage. 22 wins last year. They're on pace to definitely pass that up this year. But he's also brought out some of the best of some of these people. Jalen Green, he's playing in the control. He always had talent, but now we're seeing a more controlled version of Jalen Green. Sangoon, that's something to watch. Y'all people need to pay attention. Keep your eyes on Sangoon. Tress. Okay, so I know I talked about this last week. I'm going to shout him out again. Tyrese Holliburg. That man is on fire. But I'm going to shout him out in a different way. Most time when you watch a trade, you say one team wins, one team loses. But one time when we have the rare trade where both teams may have won, rewind. Remember when he got traded for Sabonis? The Kings have been on fire since. The Pacers have been doing good with Halliburton. Maybe that was actually the rare even star for star trade. Both have been all-stars, both are leaders of the team, and both have a bright future. So shout out to them fellas.